Hello, I'm Annie Woods, reporting from RIS Media, the leader in real estate information systems, on behalf of the top five in Real Estate Network. So you've made the move to your new home, but your old home still is yet to be sold. The good news you tell yourself is that buyers will now be free to imagine their own style in the now empty rooms. While this is true to some extent, empty spaces can also be puzzling to home buyers. And if dark rooms and clutter are turnoffs for most potential buyers, a vacant home waiting to be sold can also be a stumbling block to a sale. According to realtor Ed Leslie from Cheshire, Oregon, buyers today are looking at how long the home has been on the market and speculating why it hasn't sold. For one thing, he noted, in a vacant home, every chip in the woodwork or smudge on the wall stands out like a big glaring flaw. Sellers must do everything they can to make the home appear clean and fresh. So where should you start? When staging a vacant home, one of the first steps you'll want to take is to give your interior a fresh coat of paint. Since the walls will be bare, take a look around and replace any splintered or broken woodwork in windowsills, doorways, or elsewhere. Some home staging professionals also recommend new carpeting in a neutral shade or wood floors that have been cleaned and polished to help make the room look inviting. Beyond that, there are tips one can borrow from home staging professionals to help potential buyers visualize their families at home in those now vacant rooms. Beginning with the home's first impression, start by keeping the front and back lawns mowed and watered in season and the walkways free of leaves or snow. When it comes to your windows, if you've already removed window treatments from throughout the house, be sure to keep your windows and mirrors squeaky clean, not only to enhance the light, but to also give a bright look to each room. Home staging experts agree that potted silk plants placed strategically throughout the house can add a touch of hominess and help buyers visualize where their furniture will go. Another way to create the feeling of home is to make the kitchen smell inviting by keeping a pretty glass bowl of cinnamon potpourri on the counter. Create a focal point in select larger rooms throughout the home. This can be done in the living or family room by placing a small round table and two chairs in one corner. Add a long colorful tablecloth, an interesting centerpiece, and a tea service for two. When it comes to the master bedroom or study, again, create a focal point in a corner of the room by opening books resting on a chaise lounge or comfortable chair. When it comes to selling a vacant home, putting a few of these effective tips to work can make a big difference when it comes to appealing to prospective home buyers. For more real estate tips and topics, don't miss next week's installment of Top 5 This Week in Real Estate. Thanks for watching. I'm Annie Woods reporting from RIS Media, the leader in real estate information systems.